I'm about to go buy me a pack of fucking cigarettes and I'm pregnant. Because y'all over here conspired to keep me out of motels. After somebody helped me with the money. Then y'all conspired to keep me out of shelters. Y'all are murderers. And I'm pretty sure y'all gonna try to conspire to keep me from getting a gun. And I'm probably a little bit short. Maybe about like $10 or so. Maybe more than that. But if somebody could donate me about 10 or 20 more dollars. Meet me somewhere. Give me the money. I don't know. I need it to protect myself. Because the state of Texas and the United States government and the Atlanta Police Department is putting criminals up to try and kill a pregnant woman. And they done had me out on the streets all this time. And I'm going to go get this pack of fucking cigarettes. And I'm going to smoke them shits. And then I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to stand right here. And I'm going to put out some more evidence. Of what the fuck y'all did and why y'all trying to kill me and why y'all trying so hard they leave me out on the fucking streets in 30, 40 degree fucking weather so I can't work on the evidence in fucking peace and lie down with my baby. Why y'all trying so hard to make me miscarry this child? Why y'all trying so hard to paint me out to be a fucking mental patient on the fucking streets? Because of what y'all did and I'm tired of it. It's pretty obvious that y'all just have the intent to try to kill somebody and try to cover it up so... I need a fucking gun. And now I need a fucking pack of cigarettes. Because I ain't going out like that. And ain't no you going to kill me first. I'm going to protect myself. And I'm going to put out this evidence. You going to leave me out on the streets? Okay, I need a gun. I don't have to ride more to no more. That's fine. I'll find somewhere where I can be. I'll find somewhere where I can have my gun, where I can be. But this is over. I'm not finna live in a country with murderers. And all I asked was for y'all to give me my little boy alive and let me get the fuck up out of here. Let me tell people what went on so I can raise enough money to leave. But y'all steady want to try to do a, sm a smear campaign to try to make it seem like I'm lying. You poisoned me. In the back of the Montgomery County Jail and I am pregnant. And I was pregnant when you poisoned me. And y'all denied my pregnancy all over the state of Texas. And y'all have my family trying to help set me up to be murdered. And y'all got all my own people, African American, trying to help y'all kill me. And I done posted this shit all over YouTube. And it don't make no damn sense that nobody ever not taking me in. I want my 380 with no bodies on it. I want my gun returned to me by the Conroe Police Department. I'm buying a gun and this ain't about no shoot out shoot them up nothing with none of you gang members out there I am pregnant and y'all some fucking fools to sit over there and think that I'm not gonna try to protect myself period y'all not gonna keep on plotting on me and I ain't gonna kill myself and I ain't never killed nobody before and I ain't never shoot nobody before until I had to if nobody would have been bothering me, the white boy wouldn't have got hurt. The white man wouldn't have got hurt if he wouldn't have been attacking me and my child. But y'all so wicked and satanic and so racist that you want to sit over there and cover up the fact that I'm pregnant because you don't want to admit that y'all let a grown-ass man attack a pregnant woman after I was calling the police asking y'all to help me. So now I got to buy another gun. And then I'm sure y'all going to try to stop me from doing that. And I'm going to expose that as well if you try to stop me from buying a firearm to protect myself. Because the evidence already showed that I was protecting myself the first time that I had to shoot a gun. So I ain't going to disperse a weapon if I don't have to. I know when and when not to use a gun. And I know this is the type of situation where I do need to have one. Look at the position that y'all putting me in just to cover up the fact that y'all been trying to murder me. I have a right. So if y'all want to try to say that I can't buy a gun, okay. Let God will be done then I won't get the gun. I'll defeat y'all another way. But I'm gonna protect myself. Period. So, all y'all black men pulling out guns on me and claiming you gonna run up on me with guns and all of this stuff because I had to protect myself. You know what I'm saying? All my brothers and sisters out there in different countries in Africa, if you can, please come here. 
please come here and come and get me because they got these African-American men trying to kill me because I protected myself. And I didn't want to have to get a gun the first time. I didn't want to have to shoot this man. But he just kept attacking me in my house and he kept attacking my baby. And they kept bothering us. So I did. I shot the gun in the air and I shot him. Because he wouldn't stop and the police wouldn't help us. And I need a gun. And I'm at that point again where I'm just like, you know, I'm tired of people bullying me. I'm tired of people trying to, you know, plot on my life and all of this old kind of stuff. I mean, I do got enough money to get a ticket and go somewhere else, but they're doing this all over the country. I mean, I could just buy me another ticket somewhere and just leave Atlanta. But they're trying to kill me all over America. And I do need a firearm. I needed one the first time. And they should have never arrested me for protecting myself. And they should not have even taken my gun from me. Because I was protecting myself. And the charges were dropped. And they over here trying to uh, have the little boy Woody and Gully try to say, oh, she going to trial. She going to jail. Because he was like, oh, he was like, he going to trial. He tried to make it seem like he was going to trial. He, Woody was saying, uh, he was trying to set me up to be killed out there in Riverdale. And he was saying, oh, I'm going to trial. That's what he said for him. And I was like, what you going to trial for? And I knew he was setting me up when he said this. He was like, oh, 